Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Leo August 12, 2022. Today can begin with you feeling undirected, but as the day advances, you're in good shape to commit yourself to a particular task and get things done. You may be taking action on a private matter or feeling the need to get things done as you sense that you're moving on from a state of limbo. The day is likely to be busy and productive, if at times a little too busy. You could be seriously considering a significant purchase or changes to spending habits. Empowering energy is with you for personal or domestic matters Yuri feeling more inner courage and confidence, and support is easy to find and give. Living conditions may be improving, which boosts your mood. While you've enjoyed some sweet cosmic weather in recent days, today could bring disappointing news. As Venus, the planet of romance and attraction, gets poisoned by a bratty Neptune, nothing will be what it seems. In fact, you may be feeling extremely insecure or having a hunch that something is off in your romantic life. Worse yet, you may even hear gossip or a secret leak out yours or another's, that leaves you an emotional wreck. Don't make any irrational decisions today and if drama lurks, try to breath through it to address later. Are you ready for a moment of clarity? You may see the other side of someone or the story come out today when Venus in Gemini squares Neptune retrograde in Pisces. If you have had sneaking suspicions about a coworker, or something that you want to bring up in conversation at work, then the square may shine a light on the truth. Plus, your subconscious influence could also come out unexpectedly during the square. It may present itself as a Freudian slip or acknowledging something that you have already intuitively picked up. Your imagination is flying high today. Your interest in mystical and metaphysical matters is at an all-time high, and you may find yourself strolling through New Age bookstores. Travel to distant places may seem especially appealing, and you might dream of flying to India, Israel, Egypt, or Ireland. This is all wonderful as long as you stay grounded. Plan a trip if you can, join a meditation group. Go with the flow. You are in a state of siege in your own home and in your family circle. People are criticizing you constantly and you feel you're doing everything wrong. Take time to reflect before retorting, because they could actually be right on some points. If you react in a sober way, your family will regain their trust in you very quickly. Make sure you know what time it is, even if it seems as if everyone you care about has lost their clocks. There's no need to get mad at them just a gentle reminder will do. You find the idea of meeting new people difficult, not really something you want to contemplate, if this is actually how you feel, then far better to wait a while and reflect on what you really want to achieve. When this is done, the idea of dating has a realistic purpose with much higher chances for success. You're obviously struggling with something big, dear. People's recent comments on your irritability are well-founded. But don't worry, they'll forgive you eventually. In the meantime, do what you can to control your temper tantrums. They stem for your current fears, which seem to be multiplying exponentially. Blame the current situation on the planets, and accept it as a lesson on the path to self-realization. Let your creativity flow on this day. With the presence of this expressive vibration, you will find that different ways to release this part of yourself come readily. At work, this kind of energy can be applied to problem solving. It can also work well for you on a personal level. Creativity works on a demand and supply basis. The more you work it, the more there is. Explore and discover all that you have within. Our eyes in the sky. Comfort is one of your top priorities, and you might spend a lot of time decorating your home or office space and making it look and feel aesthetically pleasing and luxurious. Objects with a family history have special meaning to you now, so anything with sentimental value handed down from a relative takes center stage on any table you set or shelf you organize. The moon moves into unique Aquarius today, bringing out your individualism. The worst thing you could hear from someone is, you're just like everyone else I know. You work hard to express your odd, quirky side now, and you love to spend time with others who also march to the beat of their own drum. 
Plan on hanging out with people who aren't afraid to rebel against what's normal and don't care if others stare. Venus moves into Virgo this evening, elevating our expectations around love in the coming weeks. Just try not to be overly critical of your partner during this time. As the evening comes to a close, check in with your body to see if there's any tension that needs to be released by stretching or enjoying a hot bath. After midnight, the moon enters Aquarius, ending its void of course which began last night. Over the next two days, we are more interested in progress and freedom than in maintaining tradition and order. Our objective approach to our work and relationships can make us appear aloof, but can also help us to problem solve, as we refuse to allow emotions to hijack our judgment. This is a good lunar period for activism, community involvement, and creative or scientific experimentation. Before noon, the moon squares off with Mars and Taurus, disturbing our emotional equilibrium. Our martial impulse is to use tried and true methods to get things done. This means we can accidentally delay our success by doing things the hard way out of principle. Instead of allowing frustrations to depress us, we should resolve to take matters one step at a time. Break large problems down into smaller parts. Tackle the simplest problems first. Make minor tweaks to practices instead of attempting a full-scale overhaul and watch how little adjustments can have a big impact. After sunup the moon forms a trine to Mars, helping us to use our willpower appropriately. This is a great influence for overcoming personal challenges and circumstantial hiccups. Should we have a creative or artistic vision to get off the ground, the energy of this aspect can be harnessed to propel our interests forward.